Cuban superstar Pedro Calvo from the legendary group Los Van Van headlined downtown's Cuban American Music Festival. We're super happy, everyone's super cheerful, dancing, having a good time. And we love salsa. The celebration in its second year was co-organized by United States Army Colonel, Battalion Commander, and Dentist Diana Zachel. My parents are immigrants to this country. They were proud Americans and they're proud from their country where they came from. So um, I wanted to honor my mother who passed away about her culture and how rich it was and with the music and the dancing and the food. Some 42,000 Cuban Americans reside here in Los Angeles County, but this is the only music and arts festival dedicated solely to that community. Unity. But make no mistake about it, this event isn't just for Cuban Americans, it's for everybody that resides in Los Angeles. I love it, outstanding, with a cigar on my hand. There were even cigar making classes. On hand, shop owner Raul Rayner. He broke a Guinness record last year by rolling the world's longest stogie, 332 feet. That's longer than a football field. So what are the current embargo rules for Cuban cigars, arguably the best in the world? So you can go to Cuba and, uh, you know, purchase cigars and bring them back and smoke on personal consumption, not a problem. It's not considered contraband. However, uh, commercial reasons, you can't really sell them. But what we could sell were Cuban-style churros. We make different toppings, like the coconut rum sauce one. It's a coquito one, so it's infused with rum for the Cuban festival. Also classic Cuban fare like papas fritas, but with vegan chili. We basically have just taken traditional Cuban recipes and we've just adapted them. So I make my sofrito, all my seasonings, all of my sauces are the same recipes my grandmother would use. The only thing we've changed is the meat. Photojournalist Parvez showed us how Cuba's cars remain frozen in time since the U.S. trade embargo. Cuba's newest American cars are from the 1950s and can only be found in big cities like Havana. But the further you go away from Havana, the cars get older to the point where cars disappear. So for example, if you go to Trinidad, Trinidad is uh, eight hours away. In Trinidad, cars are disappearing or cars are into 1920s cars. And if you keep on going further away, cars disappear and then it's horse and carriage. LA City Controller Ron Galperin honored event promoters Yambu Productions and La Plaza de Cultura y Artes. And who doesn't love Cuban culture? And Los Angeles, which has the second biggest population of Cubans outside of Cuba and outside of Miami, what a great testament to this city. The city of angels where all cultures are celebrated. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week.